This video is a remix of material uh, released under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 3 Unported License by the Wolfram Alpha Demonstrations Project. I use these demonstrations on a day-to-day -day basis for the pupils I teach uh, in my day job and I've started to make some little introductory videos to show them how to use the material so I don't have to actually individually um, go around each student. So here we have a, a Wolfram Alpha um, demonstration. As you can see, you have a slider um, and a little tiny plus sign which is very small. You need to click on that plus sign and that will help you. Um, and we're going to go right down here to 1. Now, as you can see, we have um, a coordinate here, but it's not in the right place. We have, a, we have a point here, and we see that point labeled A is 6, 5, and it's false. In other words, it's in the wrong place. We have the x-axis going across, x for across, because it is shaped like a cross, and the y-axis goes up and down. So all you need to remember for the names of the axis, axes <coughs> is that x goes across, and then of course there's y um, for any planar um, surface as this is, it's flat. So I have to move this point to the right place. We can actually move it around. Here is 6. If it, let's move it to 6. It's still wrong, but the first of these coordinates is correct. The next is 5, which is here. So we could do the x-axis first, and then we do the y-axis. So let's do 5 and move it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And suddenly it's become true. And this is how this works. And we have our first coordinate in the right place. We click the plus sign here, step forward, and this will give us two coordinates. And we have to get them right. The first coordinate is minus 8. Remember that the x-axis is done first. So 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's move it to there. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, it's still wrong. And it's 2 on the y-axis. 1, Two, and now it's suddenly become true. The next one is 0 on the x-axis. Well, that's easy. That's smack in the middle. And it's minus 6 on the y-axis. So there's minus 5, minus 6, and it's, they're both now true. You can also make this more difficult by removing the grid lines, and then you have to try work out how to do it. It's not that hard. There's minus 5, on the, that's here, minus 5 and minus 2, 1, 2, and it's true. So you can remove the grid lines and you can still work your way across by using your eye. Um, so you might want to do both of these exercises, firstly with the grid lines and then again without them. This demonstration can be found at demonstrations.wolfram, W-O-L-F-R-A-M, so W-O-L-F-R-A-M dot com um, and it's called the Cartesian Coordinates Exercise. So if you search for it in the search box you'll find it under Cartesian Coordinates Exercise. And that's the end of this little demonstration. Thank you.